courage to attempt great things. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. We've been talking about how can we be a success in 2013. Today is Tuesday, January the 1st, 2013. 2012's gone. Brand new year. So happy birthday today to Kaylee Cook. It's her birthday, Jessica Barker's birthday, and little Aaron Tickle. So call these folks and let them know that today's their birthday. They're a year older, and hopefully you're closer to the Lord, and that you hope they have a wonderful day. Previously, we've been speaking on the five principles to guarantee success in the new year, and we've seen that, uh, first of all, to care to ask what God's thoughts are. Secondly, continue to accept God's theology. We talked about on Friday's uh, broadcast and as well as Monday's. Now today, we're going to talk about number three, courage to attempt great things. Got to have courage to attempt great things. Do you have a little God or do you have a big God? The Bible says in Deuteronomy 31, 36, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, it is he that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. No one could say that George Smith didn't have courage. A daring jet test pilot in the 1950s, back when the sound barrier was first being broken for the first time. He could face anything until he had to bail out of his jet going 805 miles per hour. That's recorded in the guidepost in 1958. Though he survived, he was afraid of ever flying again. Then during his hospital stay, a nurse gave him an antidote for fear. and It'll help us today if we'll listen to it. He took her words at heart. Courage, she said, is knowing the worst and discovering that in God's world, the very worst really can't hurt you. (laughs) The worst really can't hurt you. And if you believe that today, it'll make you a better child of God. There are three steps to courage, and the first is faith. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will... My, I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He has also become my salvation. You've got to trust God. You've got to believe him. You've got to believe that the very worst thing that can happen to you in life is not going to harm you because God's in control. It may take your physical life, but it will never harm you spiritually. And folks, listen, God's going to take care of us. He's going to see we come out of the end of this thing on the winning side. You've got to believe that. So if you're going to attempt great things for God, you've got to have faith in him that even the very worst that can happen can't hurt you. If you believe that, you'll be successful in this brand new year of 2013. May be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.